we go to Russia, where a female suicide bomber is being blamed for a deadly bus explosion. This video appears to show the moment the bus blew up in the Russian city of Volgograd. Let's bring in our Phil Black from Moscow for the latest on this story. Phil, what have you learned? Well, Relita, as you mentioned, this has been captured on a dashboard uh, video camera. A lot of Russian drivers have these, and so it shows the bus just before uh, the impact. Let's talk it through. You can see it in the right far right-hand uh, lane there. Moments later, the point uh, of detonation, and you can see debris thrown across the road. The car with the camera stops. The bus continues some distance down the road before stopping on the right-hand side, and then you can see a stream of passengers running out of the right-hand side of the bus. Now, investigators here say that a woman who survived has told them that the blast took place just moments after another woman got on the bus. So Russian investigators say the preliminary uh, information indicates that it was a female suicide bomber responsible. They say it was a 30-year-old woman from the Russian Republic of Dagestan. They put the death toll still at six, with more than 30 people injured, of those eight critically related. And with the Sochi Olympics just around the corner, how big of a concern is terrorism for Russian authorities? Well, this was one of the key reasons why Sochi was always considered an unusual choice to host the Olympics. It's proximity to a very troubled part of Russia. It's just across a mountain range from the Russian republics of uh, Chechnya, Dagestan, Ingushetia. In these places, Russian security forces are still fighting uh, a militant Islamist uh, insurgency which wants an independent Islamic state in that region. And terrorists from that region have also, in the past, launched big attacks in other parts of Russia. The most recent before today was almost three years ago, back in January. January 2011 at Moscow's Domodedovo airport where a suicide bomber killed 37 people. So there is a risk and Russian, uh, the Russian government, uh, Olympic organizers have always said uh, they are uh, aware of it and the security situation would be such to ensure uh, that these games would be as safe as if they were to be held in any other uh, Olympic city. But what this does show is that with the Sochi Games just Four day, sorry, less than four months away, it would seem that militants from that region are again launching attacks uh, at Russian civilians. Release. Phil Black in Moscow, thank you very much.